Okay, so today we'll discuss about you know how to log into Redshift cluster and run some queries. So go to AWS console. It will ask the email address and the password that you gave at the time of signing up. So then search for Redshift and it will take you to your clusters. So see here I have two clusters. So like that you can create any clusters. So no worries. Okay. So, yeah, yesterday I have created this cluster. Okay, so yeah, it create it was the available status. Okay, so that means you can run queries. If you want to pause it, go to actions and pause. Pause means as long as it's paused, you will not be charged or you will not get any bill. If you want to reboot the cluster, you can reboot. Okay, if you want to delete the cluster, you can delete. I'll talk about resize later. Resize is basically if you want to change the number of nodes. Yeah, I have already used this term resize. Resize is to like, you know, if you want to change number of nodes. Yeah, we will see that separately. Okay, cool. So right now, yeah, I have my cluster. So. So to connect, click here, query data. Okay, yeah, I think, yeah, there are two versions. You can use anything. So, connect to database. Yeah, it will ask, okay. I think I have two clusters, right? Cluster one and cluster two. So it was showing. Okay, so if you see, change connection. See here, Redshift cluster two. Okay, cluster one is in pause mode. So cluster two is available. So it is showing. The database name you have to give as dev. Dev is the database name for this cluster. And database user, AWS US here. That is the user I have given at the time of creating the cluster. Yeah, in fact, that is the default user also. So you can give connect. Yeah, it will it will connect to the database. See here, dev database and user AWS user. When you first time create the cluster, so like in Oracle, we have employee department tables, right? Whenever you install Oracle software, the employee department tables will come by default, like Scott, Tiger, and username. And employee department. So similarly here, these are the tables that will come if you want to play around it. Okay, so you can give select star from category or select count star from category or whatever you want to do. Okay, so similarly date table, event, listing, sales, users, venue. Okay, so if you want to play around them, you can play around them. Show schema, preview data, add row, duplicate table and drop table so if you want to see its schema just like what are the columns are there only uh, here show schema means it's showing only columns um, but for example i'll create one table okay yeah and uh, show you like how to so as soon as you connect so generally we can do some testing whether it's working or not something like you know select current underscore date okay so it should give current date yeah if yeah, i think uh, if you're familiar with if you're familiar with postgres or something it will be much more easier i think current date not required select current date oh 
spelling mistake. So don't get panic. Just see whether we are typing correct or not. Okay, so even if you get some syntax error or something, no worries, you can correct it. Okay, so basically, I mean, if you remember everything, that's fine. Even if you don't remember, you can just play around it. Okay, if you know, yeah, I know it will work, whether it will have some brackets or it may not have brackets. So I just do like this. Yeah, today's date coming means. Yes, cluster is working. Okay, so current underscore timestamp. Uh, and of course, there is one more function now. In post, this is post degrees. Yes, this is also will work. Now means uh, same current timestamp related. It will give date with timestamp. See here, date with timestamp. Okay, so let's say, okay current date or for example you can also check current user current underscore user means you want to know what is the user that you logged in aws user Syntax error, okay. C U R R E N T current underscore user. AWS user. Okay, so means you want to know which user is currently running or current underscore schema. Yeah, I think yeah. this function requires brackets. Yeah, some of them require brackets, some of them don't require bracket. Okay, that's why I'll just try with brackets. If that does not work, then it will work with without bracket. So, current schema will be public. You should know that by default, uh, Redshift, uh, not only Redshift, public. Uh, Postgres also uses public as the default schema. So public will be your schema. That means all the tables that you create, anything that you create will be created in the public. See here, current schema, public, okay. So, okay, current schema, current user, current database. For example, what is the current database? then so these functions working means yes your connectivity to cluster is working and cluster is working just for testing the purpose this is all okay so this is just quick check so once everything is fine then you can do you know like create table Okay, so generally, you see in Oracle or somewhere or any database, we just create like this, create table, okay, table name, 
department number for example you see i'll remove all these things department number integer or int okay so anything you can use the same syntax that we are following okay so department name where care a location where care same thing whatever you are following or cab okay so care or where care whatever it is data types you know right for inti for numerical data types integer decimal double numeric float small int these are all integer data types for character for cab and where care so those are the character data types okay and um, for time date date time stamp also date data type so yeah like this so based on what type of data the column is going to hold you will either define integer or character or date if it is a date column so you can write the whatever database you know like in or char or character like that okay it will take so in oracle generally what we do after this bracket we at the end we'll put primary key like that primary key you will put you know some department number right so here we don't put anything like you know primary key or anything so because primary key we are not using in redshift right so so what is primary key unique and not null okay so that means that column should be unique and not null then you can define it as a primary key so here also we can define primary key okay like we do in oracle or anything but here the purpose is or emphasis is not on primary key so we don't bother about primary key we bother about distribution style or distribution key so here either you can define this style key this key you can give department number or something okay so yeah in redshift this is the emphasis okay so you focus on distribution styles that's why we have spent time on discussing distribution styles this is the syntax for for example dept underscore key i'll put uh okay character distribute this style key this key department number if i get any syntax errors it will show syntax errors otherwise it will be executed yeah executed see here left hand side this key the db underscore key table get created so this is syntax this style key dist key department number means department number is a distribution key okay so so that is in case if you want to create a particular column as the distribution key but let's say you want to all all distribution then you don't write like this distribution style you'll just keep all i mean small letters or capital letters you can write anything no worries okay distribution style all see i changed the table name to all and because i'm creating this as this style all then it will be created that's all see here dpt all dpt underscore all so what is the next one even dp underscore even if you want to create yes you can create and uh, you just need to mention the this style even okay so it will create this style even see it's completed see this dp underscore even created
okay so let's say i don't give anything i don't want to give anything or for example you are new to redshift and you don't know anything okay you don't know distribution style or anything you know only okay that creating table with columns data type was then you can give like this okay don't mention anything you just give like this and run then what happens what is our concept tell me if you give like this what happens auto this, yeah. this style auto so, yeah so yeah this style auto will be created see i did not change the table name so it gave dpt even already exist yeah so if you don't mention anything it will create with auto distribution style so see there will be a lengthy discussion in the entry on these distribution styles okay that's why i have spent more time on that and yeah uh, one must be familiar with this yeah distribution style auto okay created okay now yeah the question how do i know how this table is created how do i check whether it's auto or not i mean your question prasad like you know how to check table ddl you should not say columns and all okay describe is to view the ddl similarly here also Wait, you will see list of columns or DDLs, Prasad, for describe in Oracle? Co columns and uh, data types, both. I what I want to know is okay. Yeah. It's like not this describe describe table name, right? So how it will be okay. Anyway, I would like to tell. For example, you see here, there is an, here we will give show actually, okay. For example, show dpt underscore key. If you give, you will see the table DDL. Okay, so create table, table name. Obviously, see here in this, you will see columns, data types and all. So I want to know whether describe in Oracle gives create table table name in this format or just only columns and data types. Only columns and data types. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, then. So I think then here you see uh, columns and data types we can get in a different way. But yeah, this show table will give everything right like how the table got created see here uh, copy this and paste here okay create table table name okay department number department name location and the distribution style key see here and uh, remember at the time of creating a table we have not given anything like you know encoding or nothing okay so we have not given anything right see here lj do and all yes or no so uh, what i said those what are those uh, lj do and uh, az64 those are all encodings encodings means compression 
okay here the redshift terminology is encoding or encode so if you don't mention anything it will take automatically in fact the redshift advisor or aws advising don't define anything at the time of creating table because what is new today may not be new after two three years because encoding keep changing because the more and more advanced encoding encoding advanced means what it will save more space so earlier some older encodings were there okay now they are facing you know space issue so also with that experience aws says don't define anything because the encodings will keep change okay so if you just don't mention it will automatically take the new latest encodings so how can we say see based on this example we have not mentioned anything but it only took automatically like that okay so how do you know your table ddl show table table name for example show table key okay show table all you give all it will show see here distribution style all so it created with all distribution style similarly even distribution style even is created you can also check distribution style auto see here this style auto auto means what we have not mentioned anything so at that time it automatically took auto so auto means what happens what did we discuss about auto auto will initially begins with all and then if it sees that table is growing then it will change that to even right so that is the auto yes sir no yes sir Somnath, are you there? Somnath? Hello, Somnath? Somnath, can you hear me? Okay, Prasad, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. I think Somnath, can you please confirm if you are available?
Okay, so yeah, so this is about auto. So like how to insert, you know, data on stable created. Like I have said, yeah, this is okay. Insert into table. Okay, so I'll create a DPT table. I have created DPT key, DPT all, DPT even, DPT auto. Okay, so now I'll create DPT table. Okay, so I mean, I don't give anything. Even if you give, no problem. But best best practice in real time is not to give. Why not to give? Because if newer encodings comes, they will automatically take. If you give now, that's all that will be fixed. So D name, I'll give character of 20. See, if you just give char, it just to character of one. So, but we want char means ideally we will give some size. Okay, so that is the length of that column that you are expecting so create table this one department number in this department name character 20 location and uh, yeah this yeah, i think you can take anything okay distribution style key this key department number Okay, cool. List style key, list key, department number, yeah. Yeah, so department table created. Now we can insert data. Okay, so this one. Insert into DPT values, some department number okay 10 department name some hr location hyderabad okay i like that so but every record should have comma between okay when you're inserting multiple values so like this if you want to insert one more value also you just put here open the bracket some 40 mm, hr sales marketing then what is that uh, the another department okay production character values you should put in single code okay then blr okay i think this is uh, chennai um Prasad, you have idea on SQL? Like, how do you know that uh, character column should be put in single code and all? Yes, sir. Yeah, like, how do you know? Hello, I was, I'm asking question. How do you know that character columns should be put in SQL, yes, single code? I saw the videos in YouTube, sir. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so Chenna Chepte on the elevated Londale. Abdoin there, A Chepte Jador Chadi. Apple Jepte, ABB and Apple Jepte, Matam words, sentences, and new children Londale. Up to automatic Yam was the outpost. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. So, as a software loan, no loan, Matan dummy candidate loan. Abdoin there, ABC Ranul Londal is software loan. That's why the software is the software cluster. So, if you have common sense, you can automatically do the job. You can do the job in the interview. If you do the perform, you will be selected. You can do the real-time mode in general. You can do the job in general. You can do the job in general. You can do the job in general. Real time mode only our work chest and work chapter, Miguel the Argoda, Chazar Lapa Chaplade. 
फस्ट सो अला क्लास मिगली मन होंम वर्क चेयल कदा जस्ट विने एग्जाम पास अदा क्लास विने सो सेम इकडी अक्की इकंदे रेप जॉब इवे चेस्टर अभी इंटरव्यू इवे अड़ता ओके सो इंटरव्यू वे प्रति क्वेश्चन कवर अभी रेप जॉब लोनारी अभी कवर अब क्वेश्चन for the department table okay so how this dpt table created you will know okay okay this style key okay department number integer d name character location character this time key bus okay so you know we have inserted four records so how do you know data is there or not in this table how do you know select sort from table self sort from table names okay so it will display the data select means it will retrieve the data so it will show four records because the table has only four records yes okay so but but, but you know in real time tables will have millions of records so if you give select sort from table it will take you no know, generally if the table has millions and billions of records it will take you know lot of time just to retrieve that data a lot of means it will take given one minute or even more we don't want to spend that much time so we generally give select count of you can give select count of table name also what this will give hello select count start from table what is the what is output of this this query hello boss this is for you only prasad okay so hello prasad are you there Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that count star will give count records, sir. Number of records. Yeah. So what is the output Four. of this query? Four. Four records. Okay. See, we are not four records. Number four. Count star from table means it will give number four. Yes, yes, sir. Got it. Star, yes, select star, and then you will get okay records. One, two, three, yes, four. Yes. How many records are there? Yes, yes, sir. So, if you give count, means it will give only count. How many count number of records are yes. there? Like four or yes, five sir. or number three. Of... Yeah, yes. number of records in the table. You will get it. Okay. So, okay, cool. so okay 
so generally you said right like what are the columns uh, yeah for example show table will give all this information right like okay what are the columns okay i mean definitely from show table also you can get right list of columns data types their encoding distribution key all these things can you know or no from show table yes actually i don't yeah. know sir first time also yeah yeah that's why yeah, i know okay so another way that you can know is very simple like you know if you want to know columns and all you can give this one select start from svv tables underscore info this is very very important table select start from svv tables underscore info where table table should be in double quote equals to dept yeah you can put where table equals to dept of course you can also add another filter and schema equals to public you can put this also Select star from SVV tables info where table equals to DPT and schema equals to public. You can go, or you can just put only table equals to DPT filter. See now what is the output? I think SVV table info, not tables. SVV table info. So it will show like this: database dev schema public table ID table encoding okay auto encoding dist type key and what column it is there and sort key if you have any sort key that will come here sort key and max where cap. I mean, if there is any max where care available, it will come here. And you see size table size. This is the size in MB. It will give table size in MB. It will show here. So based on this, you can also tell what is the size of the table. This is also another important question. How do you know the current size of a table? SVV table info. SVV underscore table underscore info. Where table equals to table name, if you give, and you know schema. Of course, this is the additional filter I said, right? Schema equals to public. You can put this filter on. Then this column called size. Size column will give the size in table, size in MB. This is the size of the table in MB. So percent used means percentage of disk space used. On the total disk, like it has 160 GB, right? So, on that 160 GB, how much space it's used? It's used 0.0033 percent. It used. Okay. So, and uh, empty, unsorted stats of this is another important column. Stats of. Okay. Statistics. Okay. Statistics is like I said. Optimize in the while discussing Redshift architecture, we said that optimizer will come up with the best plan. Okay, so because optimizer knows what are the tables, what are the distribution keys, and where the tables data is stored, so when a user files a query, it will exactly know where the table is there, so it can come up with the best plan to bring the 
data or to retrieve the data so for that the statistics are very very important so the stats of 100 means there is no up to date statistics available or you can say that statistics are not up to date stats of zero means current statistics are current current means up to date okay so so this is another important column stats of and table rows you see here table rows it showed four obviously the table has four rows only right the table has how many rows yes sir four rows yeah so you see table skew one so ideally it is one i said right table skew ideally zero or one ideally actually it will be one only why because you have four rows right four rows and you have only one node okay one node so one node this dc2 large will have two slices so each one has two two records so skew rows one so that's good up to four skew is allowed okay four or five okay so that's good so if like i said right skew is you know when what will lead to skew what will lead to skew uneven distribution of data across the slices yeah that's all okay so yeah very very important if if i'm asking one question means be assured that that question will come in the interview otherwise i don't ask that question okay so if, if you can able to answer this here you will be able to answer there okay so so that's what okay skew definitely you will ask what is skew what is skew means yeah so it is the percentage of uneven distribution of data okay if data is most unevenly distributed this number will be more if the data is equally distributed to all the slices it will be one okay so so one is the ideal but you know skew up to up to you know some five yeah four to five of course even 20 to 30 percent skew also fine okay for example in the case i said uh, the column which is most unique but not used in the join another table which is not most unique but 80 percent unique but used in the join yeah in such cases you may see skew up to 20 but that's fine okay that will help you the joins so skew up to some 20 percent is fine no issues but ideally the value is one okay so estimated visible rows also four yeah so how to study a redshift is or how to understand for example which table i queried now i queried scv table info okay so scv table info is very very important and uh, from scv table info what we are saying we are seeing the database name schema name table name and its encoding okay and uh, its distribution style whether it's a key or all okay key or all or even auto whatever it is it will be shown here and uh, sort key see nothing we have not defined any sort key so it took as auto sort key so and you know size size of the table this number is in mb and percentage used okay disk space means this is size right so this is how much percentage on the total disk and you know stats of means whether the statistics are up to date or not anyway we will discuss separately about statistics and vacuum yeah there are these concepts are coming up so no worries for now just uh, try to understand stats of okay so stats of zero means current 100 means stale stale means no statistics are available on the table okay table rows this is important table rows means how many rows are there in the table okay so four okay okay so estimated visible rows four 
so somebody may ask what is this table rows and estimated visible rows so why two both are rows okay one is table rows and estimated visible rows so why two columns means i will tell you actually you know that i will tell you when we this when we are discussing on vacuum and all okay so actually table rows will have when table data got updated this number will increase but this number will always show actual number of rows estimated visible rows will show actual number of rows i will tell you an example you have you know uh, 10 employees prasad you have 10 employees yes sir okay i have i have updated one record from his salary 10000 to 20000 Okay, I have updated one yes. record. His salary from ten thousand to twenty thousand. After that update, how many records will be there in the table? Four records. Oh, ten ten records. Okay, my question is, I have a table which has ten records. Okay, let's say ten employee records, and I have updated yes. one of the employee record. My salary from ten thousand to twenty thousand. So after my update query, yes. how many records will be there in the table? Ten records. Same. Okay. I mean, are you sure? Yes, sir. Only the the particular column is updating, not any updating another record. No, sir. Eleven records, sir. How? um std type 2 sir no man i am not say, i did not say like type 2 or type 1 or anything right table may be anything i have updated one record that's all from his salary okay i am not implementing std type 1 or type 2 or anything forget about them i have okay, table so 10 records i updated one record his salary from 10000 now i updated to 20000 So ten records maybe. Hmm. Ten records, sir. Yeah, that's sir. You see, yeah. in the entry, only, only update, for... only update the value, sir. Only column value. Yeah. Hello, boss. Mano, content ko maarlar the next call. Are are you sure? Anga ne answer maarche do. First dhan arto ne dente man ke correct ke clarity ledo man ke confidence ledo na arto. Okay, sir. Arto ne. So, are you sure? And that ten or eleven is not there. Are you sure? And that eleven or ten is not there. And after that, we don't know like what we are answering or what we actually don't have clarity. What is output for that question? Okay. And and actually, sir, we have very constant like eleven, sir. Type two, low, as it type two, so many new okay, record and type two, sir. The value. Type two implement same and chapter like that. I mean, no table, low already. Yeah. ओके Product. My what I will do is is I mean housekeeping. Okay, our department housekeeping and more than that. And that day on the ten thousand, two thousand and much or one. Okay, now. Fraud department ne, okay. Housekeeping and master na, okay. Yes sir. Where? Where? The PT number equals to forty. Forty. Okay. Update PT set D name. Yes sir. Equals to housekeeping where department number forty run the asta. Until I am running on update statement. So my question is. I updated on record. After that, how many records will be there in the table? 
four reports. Four or five? Four, sir. Abroad, uh, are you sure? No doubt, guys. If then, are you sure? Under so, man, our value update change and the matter, na count of records will not change. See, count is four. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Count, count. Did it change? No, right? Because whenever we no, update, no. nothing will change. So only delete chest and data delete out the insert chest and data insert out the and they can update chest and nothing will happen. Yes. Update chest the only a value mark. For example, you put a select star from the EP and go to on go. After a product was low. Housekeeping and also housekeeping. housekeeping. Yes, sir. Housekeeping. Is it not? Yes, sir. And this, so up out of the guy and confuse a poor one at cause it goes, it goes, it goes, and they put on this one go. I don't get one to the last look. So, I mean, until my clarity is update just a number of records to change our one man clarity is. So update will never change number of records. Only delete chest in a delete out the insert I the insert out the insert I know delete I know to definitely number of records. So more time are what? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay. So you put a SV table info choose the See here on uh, department number and coding auto distribution style key. See here table rows five two yes, sir. Estimated visible rows and two yes, four sir. No, uh, I think there are four on a five on a four on a sir. Uh, so Estimated visible rows will always always show the correct, I mean, current number of records in the table. Okay, as the manu good pet will estimated visible rows will always show current number of records in the table. I say, okay. it table rows in a center records update in a delete in a update and record ne disclose and delete check on the then alagi unchi the update and value ne a pakana very block low show just. Hello. Sorry, sir. Uh, so four rows are there, right? Four rows are there initially. Okay. Yes, so when you're updating a table, when you're updating a table, it will not update the same record. Or okay, a record nakade unche kotha record and housekeeping value to record ne vary block lo Okay, sir. Are they in there? Yes, sir, yes, sir. So that's why it will show it as five. And they already yes, update an old record and delete chase the old record. Ne. Yes, okay. Sir. But it will not delete old record in Redshift or Postgres. Okay. Whenever there is update or delete, it will not clear the block of the old record. Then I'll give you one update and record me for the block to store just it. And only it okay. will show like this. Yes, sir. Okay. Understand? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. So estimated visible rows and then a correct figure in yesterday. So if you do. If you see. SCV table in pin Google. Then it will show like what is the meaning of each column. Okay, so the meaning of each column you see it will show like database means database name, schema means schema name, table means table name, 
you know encoding encoding of the columns dist style okay distribution style of the table sort key max where care okay size of the largest column that you just where care and you know size size of the table in 1 mb means in mb size of the table in mb okay percentage used percentage of available space that is used by the table okay empty okay this is not used it is for internal use unsorted okay percentage of unsorted rows in the table stats of this is important so asal stats of ante ento meek teliyadaniki you have to refer this document okay docs.aws.amazon.com from there you have to see number that indicates how stale this sta table statistics are zero is current 100 is out of date so stats of anedi eppudu kuda zero undali but deeniki out of date undi okay 100 untu general ga ante table create cheyagane mana stats create cheyaledu kada i mean stats we did not collect so it is 100 okay so we have to collect stats after creating table we have not done yet so it is showing 100 but it should be zero okay tomorrow again i will show okay whether it's zero or 100 okay so today we have seen stats of is 100 which is okay prasad remember this point stats of is 100 yes, for this table today. okay yes, sir. Yes, sir. but ideally it should be zero to come up with the best plan for this system okay then table rows see here total number of rows in the table this value includes marked rows for deletion but not at vacuum so table rows anedi anedi entante delete or update and records in kuda idi lack choopistadi appudu indaka oka record update ayindi kaabatti daanni kuda choopistundi adhe inda table rows total number of rows in the table this value includes this value includes rows marked for deletion and actually update ayin mundu record delete ayipol kada only latest value e undali disk lo yes sir no yes sir yes sir but yeah table rows and it will show even the records which are marked for delete means the previous values okay so i wait ante avu povalante mana vacuum cheyale ad vacuum cheppina appudu cheptam okay avu povali adi kuda 4h अवसर so that is why estimated visible rows will show the actual number of records okay because it does not include the rows marked for deletion okay yes sir okay cool so yeah that's all about this table very very important okay so last column is vacuum sort benefit uh, this will show I mean, what the estimated maximum percentage improvement of scan very fair for me when you can run vacuum. Okay, so vacuum. I mean, I will talk about this when we are discussing on vacuum. Okay, so this this is the way you will find you know about what are the columns are there, what is their data types, okay, what is the distribution style, what is their sort key, and what is the table size. I mean, you say table size. And you know statistics. Okay, so table rows, estimated visible rows, those things we will know. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Any questions? No, sir. Yeah. So study about this. Okay, and see you tomorrow. Okay. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah.